In this example, we will learn how to interface a DHT level sensor with a Raspberry Pi for measuring temperature and humidity. For the DHT level sensor, there are actually three connections, VCC, ground and data pin. Some packages comes with four pins, but you have to use only three connections from them like shown in this figure. The next step is to install two libraries, but before that, something about these connections Actually, there are only three connections. Uh, first one is power supply. That is a 3.3 volt. We took it from the pin number one, physical pin number one of this Raspberry Pi board and the ground connected to pin number nine and the GPO 17 is used for the data connection for feeding the data from this DHT 11 sensor to Raspberry Pi board. You can use any GPO pin for giving the input data. So the next thing is to install. The next step is to install two libraries. So before we start to uh, do our programming, we have to install these two libraries. The first command installs the Adafruit's DHT11 library that works with the circuit Python, and the second command is to install a library for accessing the GPU pins of Raspberry Pi. So before creating your program Python file, you have to install these two libraries, and it is very important. And another thing is, if you have not installed a pip in your system, you have to do that first before executing this first command. Now into the program. So after importing the essential libraries, uh, we are defining the DHT11 device which is connected to the GPIO pin uh, port 17. Then the whole program is inside a while loop, which will run continuously as long as the condition is true. With the simple calculations, we will get the temperature and humidity values from the DHT device and these calculations are very simple and self-explanatory. And for handling the runtime exceptions and errors, we are using a try and accept clause in Python. So this is the full program and I will give the full program in the description section of this tutorial so, they ca so that you can uh, just copy it from there and uh, use in your program. So we can create the program now and see the output. So we can create a new file using the nano editor dht. I am giving the name as dht11.py and the same program. We can use the same program we see in our slide here. So this is the program. I will give it in the description section and after that just save it and exit from the editor. Now we can run this program and see the output. We can run the program with the Python, Python space dht11.py and press enter. You can see that in a continuous loop, it is showing us the temperature and the humidity. This data we are getting from the dht11 sensor. And this whole program is running in a continuous loop. So if we want to terminate any of these type of programs which runs in a continuous loop, we have to just press the control and C key in our keyboard. Okay. So now we can check whether the tem uh, this sensor, the HD11 sensor is working or not. We can just increase its temperature, try increasing its temperature with a symbol lighter. I am just turned on the lighter here and uh, we can check whether temperature is increasing or not. Yes, the temperature first it was 27, next it become 28 and now it become 29 like that. So the temperature is increasing. Okay, so the sensor is working. You can try this in your lab and if there is any doubts you can surely comment below.